Um, I need to grab a clip and post it for the day. So one moment, ladies and gentlemen. What, what keeps that? Shut up, phone. You need to shut your face. Um. <clears throat> oh, no, that's not my clip. That's a different person's clip. Ah. <sighs> He knows I'm here. Wait, I was behind there. No, that's not it. That's not it. Cracked. Hi, Dennis. What? That's we it. wiped him Welcome like... I, I don't. That's, that's nasty. I'm shielding him. Because I have explosive Take diarrhea. Hey, no, that's me. I'm going to have to come. <laughs> like hey. uh, the two-time himself. Some... Indeed. No, that's my live stream. You idiots. Continue watching. That's what I need. There's a clip around this moment, so I need to find it. Streaming in the 1080p. 1080p. Let us play the game. And give us money. <laughs> Good knock. You're shooting me, Pickles. You are shooting. On one. Good shit. Two down. <laughs> Thickles looked right at me and started shooting me. Hey Dennis, welcome in you guys. Got him. Let's go! I might need to grab two clips. Yep. We wiped him welcome like... Up. We don't have to talk about it. I know what I did. It's it's nasty, Thickles, and it's got to be talked about. No, there's no, there's no, a no, stigma there. around <laughs> shit talk. <laughs> Boom! Dropping the stink bombs, bitches! This this will work, I think. Boom! 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 Good knock. You're shooting me, Thickles. You are shooting on one. Good shit. Two down. Come on, get the. Hi, Dennis. Welcome in, you guys. Got him. Let's go. Boom! Dropping the stink bombs, bitches! I need it to be just... Damn it. Just a smidge. Down. Hi, Timing is everything, chat. Got him. Let's go! Was that a team wipe? Yep. We wiped him like... Up. Boom! Boom! <laughs> I want to get this whole exchange. Hold up, let me turn the volume down for y'all. Boom! Dropping the stink bombs, bitches! Boom, boom! You're shooting me, Thickles. Got him. Let's go! Was that a team wipe? Yep. We wiped him like the poop off of the toilet seat. I like it. <laughs> uh. Silly, silly thickles trying to kill me in Apex when we're on a team. When we're on the same team, actually. That's what's confusing. As to why. Dante, how are you, you beautiful, wonderful person? Which, what you doing? I'm editing a clip right now. I was about to play Warhammer, but maybe I'll play something else. I don't know. But I have to do some editing first. Welcome in, Cat and Dante. I am fantastic. How are you? How are you, you wonderful wolfy rogue? Did I download? Yes, I downloaded. Okay. Opening up my DaVinci result. Also, Dante, check the hair. Just, just everyone... Look, look, imagine me with a beard right now. Just, just, just look at this. It's so luscious. It's insane. Like, I'm having such a good hair day. 
and it's going to be ruined when I fall asleep, so I'm enjoying it now. But it's just... Just, just... God, I wish I had a beard. I'd look like such a fucking Viking. It'd be insane how much like a Viking I would look. I'm not trying to be like one of those toxic Viking bros. No, 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 no. I would be like, I'd be like a, a farmer. I have like a wife, two kids. Um, I ideally live by the coast. We go fishing every every few days um, until my family was brutally murdered by a warlord from the from the kingdom over. And then I I grab the the tools from my early days. And it's like a bunch of axes and shit. And there's like, I got like a sick ass warrior. To, it's like John Wick, but Viking. That's what I want. I want a, a Viking John Wick. That I want that story animated, but I'm the main character and I could just see through the main character's eyes. That's what I want. Sorry, that was a whole tangent. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you for tuning in, especially this late. I appreciate it, Dante. I hope you are having a wonderful night as well. Um, no TK here. Oh, Shanap. You know, ironically, Wolfie Raid, that is the wolf's uh, whistle of death from Puss in Boots, The Last Witch. So it's quite convenient that you raided me tonight. Welcome in, everyone. Let's get a little music going, shall we? Shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Just a little bit while we're vibing, having a good time. Kai, redeem the hair flip, of course. You know what? For the raid, I'll do another one. It's hard being sexy. It really is. Okay, Spud, that wolf looked incredible. Voiced perfectly, animated perfectly, top tier movie. Welcome in, Raiders. Dante, thank you for bringing your community here. For those of you just joining, my name is Big Rich X, and I am a god-tier commentator, streamer, and content creator, and I'm here to have a good fucking time! How about you? Now, I have to edit, sadly. We're not getting into gaming just yet, but we'll vibe out, have a good time. We'll talk to one another, get to know one another, and quite possibly change the world together. But who knows? Life is full of surprises, and I'm not ready for all of them. But I will be ready for you, Dante. Upon the evening, or the eve of our meeting, which will one day happen at some point, I don't know when, but it will, I will be ready to deal with your wolfy tricks in the flesh. And I will be ready to game and to dominate and to thrive on the Twitch landscape or wherever I go for I'm a content creator at heart Nick the Cat with a gifted sub Wunderbar Merci beaucoup Monsieur Nick Dante likes it when I talk French chat she knows it she knows it. But do you know a chat? You're going to. Let's have a great time. Boom! Love that drop. We vibing. We vibing. No. There we are. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Editing is done. We are exporting the video now. Add it to the render queue and render all. There we go. Welcome in, Kai. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by. Dante, thank you so much for the raid. Most of y'all are here from Dante's stream, but still. Congratulations and welcome to the Please, please, please go show Dante Hayashi all the love. All the support, every little bit you can give. Go on, stop by. She is a phenomenal content creator, streamer, and VTuber, and would highly recommend all of her content and VODs.
please show some support. Be valuable dignitaries from the X Nation, or I will find out, and I will crush thee with the power of a thousand suns. And my camera broke. Sick. Well, that's a terrifying but hopeful look into the distance. God damn it. Dante, your 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 raid was too strong. It legit broke my camera. Either that or I'm just too fucking ugly to be on video. There I am. Hi. We're back. Don't worry. Don't worry, you silly gooses. Okay, we got the YouTube pulled up. We got the Twitter pulled up. We got the TikTok pulled up. We got to upload it to three different spots for Max Biggerich X awareness. That's what you got to do, chat. That's what you got to do. Also, I got to make sure I upload it to my shorts YouTube channel, not the main YouTube channel, which is for main YouTube channel videos, of course. All righty. We're going to do YouTube first, because I do. I, my video's been doing quite well on YouTube, now that I think about it. Um, ba, 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 ba. I, although I don't know what my last video got. I got, or my last short got. I know I got two new subscribers off of it, so that was pretty damn good. If I can ever start making money off of shorts, that'd be awesome. But that's going to take a long time. I got to lurk for a bit. All good. All good. Ooh, a hype train's close. Is anybody going to help me reach there? No, I'm just kidding. Y'all have given me enough. Thank you so much. Please, please just everyone relax. Thank you again, Dante, for bringing your community and trusting me with all your little babies. I know it's a, it's a risk every time, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Oh, snap. Little, little under 700 views, but I, for a commentary video, I like that a lot. I like that a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Should I give someone else a sub? I mean, if you want to, Nick, that's up to you. That is your money. I'm a digital image. I can't force you to do anything. But if you want to, go ahead. Go right for it, sir. Day 219 of adding Monsieur Courage Daddy until I cast with him. Him. At Thickles. Congratulations and welcome to Nick the Nick with another Council. gifted sub to Cast Iron Cat. Thank you, sir. Don't try to TK me in Apex, please. Honesty. What was she even thinking? At Evo Gaming. You gotta talk to Thickles about this. Okay, now we grab the clip. What are you doing? Perfect. We have it labeled properly. It's gonna take a while to upload fully onto Twitter, so while it's uploading on Twitter, we go to TikTok to upload it there. This saves time and effort, ladies and gentlemen. Although my TikTok videos have steeply fallen in the past few months i used to average around 400 views a video then it dropped to like around 200 for like a month now i'm lucky if i get past 100 i don't know what's going on with the algorithm or i don't know what changed i should say but we're gonna keep uploading regardless because you never know every time you upload something every time you go live that's like a lottery ticket and you could that could be your moment granted like a lottery ticket the odds are very very high but it's still an opportunity ba -ba 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 -ba. posted okay it's uploaded there it's up still uploading to twitter damn probably because i'm live streaming congratulations and welcome to the x council Hi, you did not just do that. Kai, you did not just do that. Kai, you did not just do that. 
Oh my god, Kai. 50 gifted subs. Kai, thank you so much. I don't know how the hype train didn't start off of that, but holy shit. Thank you, Kai. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Kai, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Congratulations and welcome to the X Council. Nick with another gifted. Y'all, okay, you two are done. Hype train be damned. You two are done. Y'all have given me too much. Holy shit, Kai. <laughs> I, I don't believe it. I have to take a photo. So I. This is. God, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, the the clips are posted. If you want to go watch. I'll just enjoy the fantastic streams you always produce. I love you, man. Truly. Love you too, Kai. I love I love all my fucking viewers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart to both of y'all, thank you. Alright, I'm gonna go play Warhammer now. And try and relax. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Welcome in, Julie. Please, everyone, if you got a sub from Kai, please say thank you. Please just show all the love. Thank you so much, Kai. That That is insane to me. That is insane to me. I'm pretty sure that got me over 100 subs. Oh, my goodness, Kai. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll never be able to say it enough. You you don't have to give another cent to my stream, Kai. Not an, another dime. Welcome in, car lover. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to thank Kai for the sub, brother. <laughs> Y'all have given me enough, seriously. Y'all are giving me way too much. <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. My heart is pumping so fast right now, I don't know why. <laughs> Just, just thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a tie-in with Sega. Total, total, the Total War like series or studios or whatnot is uh, is owned, I believe, by Sega or is like a subdivision of Sega. And then Warhammer is obviously tied to Warhammer and Creative Assembly and a few others. Um. Kai, I don't know if you're still here. I don't know if you know anything about Warhammer, but if you want me to play as a particular faction, let me know. Please let me know now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kai, so very, very much. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, Kai, Kai Lee, uh, dropped 50 gifted in the chat. 50 gifted, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely insane. Empire's blessings, yes. But here are all the factions, Kai. You choose. I'm sorry, Couch Potato. I, I'm sure you will get a gifted sub eventually or at some point. I'm in every chance I get because I love your commentary and I love your dream. Well, thank you, Kai. 
just thank you from the bottom of my heart. Please pick any one of these factions for me to play. I, I leave it entirely up to you. I, I don't care if you don't even know the game, just pick one that interests you and I'll play it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I also have a few campaigns up, so if you pick someone I already have a campaign for, I'll just do that. High Elves, perfect. I don't even think I have a High Elves uh, one in this game, but I'm going to check. But I don't think I do. I do not. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Summon the Elector Counts. High Elves it is. I fight for the greater good. Okay, there's five lords to choose from, Kai. There's Tyrion, he has a flame sword. There is no there's limit a spell to spellcaster. We are the legacy of this Nagarith. This dude is ranged, I believe. He's a ranged... No, he's got a sword. I'm an idiot. No rest, no weakness. This guy is also very angry. He's got a spear-sword combo. Dragonfire This guy rides dragons. Imric. We got Imric, Ethlarion, Alethanar, we can achieve much Teclis, we must and preserve Tyrion. this world. Take your pick, sir. Go for the dragon rider. On I, I was born for glory. I was born for glory. Enable sea lanes. I won't enable end game scenarios. Uh, advisor seat minimal. Time limit sixty. But no incremental auto saves. Yes, please. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, do, 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 do. We'll stick with normal. I'm gonna I'm stick with normal for most of them just because I stink at this game. But the Dragon Rider it is. It is for good reason that ships rarely stop along the southern coastlines that provide passage into the desolate darklands. In the distance, past the roving bands of orcs, goblins, ogres, and worse, black smoke can be seen spewing into the filthy sky. Though one would be forgiven for thinking this is entirely volcanic in nature, the stench of tar pits and oil pools hangs heavily in the air, hinting at a malevolence that threatens to rise. Enslavement or death are likely destinies of those ill-prepared to travel northward. Dragon Rider it is, sir. It will take a few levels before I can get his dragon, if I remember correctly. Um, but you should, I believe we start with a dragon, which is insane in this game. Because a dragon, dragons are like tier 5 units, like end all be all, which makes sense. Because they're fucking dragons. Um, thank you again, Kai. Thank you again so very, very much. If you have any questions about Imric or the Dragon Riders or his faction of the High Elves of this game, let me know. Thank you, Kai. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. What's strange is, is just, like, this past week, I got, like, 30 gifted subs, like, across from, like, three different people. Uh, I think it was, like, Elm, Lone Wolf, and maybe a few others. Uh, I think Jace gave some subs, too, this month. Uh, so it's insane. I love your main. Thank you, Logical Geo, and welcome in. How are you doing, sir? I like it too, that's why I keep it. I'm thinking of changing it up one day, but I need I need a beard to do so before I change anything about this. Whew. I don't wanna talk about it anymore. Not a mullet. I, I don't think I could go. I could rock a mullet. Um, I may get like what I was thinking, uh, Geo, is like I take this top part, top part, and maybe like shave all around, and then just have the have the top part still long, something like that. But I'd need a beard to do it. Maybe a mullet. I don't know. If I could pull it off. I don't know if my curly hair would agree with it, though. But uh, I was thinking something like that. Or just maybe shaving this back part. Not, not all of it, but like just cleaning it up a bit. 
I don't think I can pull off many hairstyles. I just, I really want a beard one day. And it might take a few years before I can get one just because, uh, jeans. We're almost there. This game always takes forever to load, so I apologize. Um, we're gonna we're gonna play as Imric uh, for a little bit in the High Elf is uh, the High Elves down south. I'm by a lot of Skaven, Greenskins, and Ogres, so that's gonna be interesting. Um. The only ones I'm really worried about is ogres and greenskins a bit. Chaos is going to be another problem later down the line, um, just because I don't have a lot of troops that that uh, can counter them too well. Um, but we'll see. Luckily, I have dragons, which are huge, and counter just about everything except halberds and anti-large infantry. But even then. I can just hover above and just spew breath attacks at people. <clears throat> but I hope everyone is doing well tonight. Um, Kai, thank you again. You're an absolute fucking stud. There we go. It is time for Kalador to rise once again! Hell yeah. Seek out unique dragons throughout your campaign and choose to draw upon their knowledge and power or tame them in battle and have them join your cause. Or an influence your campaign. That's just a high elf thing. Imric's different because they just can I can get dragons throughout my campaign. Um, we start off with just this one uh, the fortress of Vorag down south. Just to show you how absolutely massive this map is, I am in this one little section, and this is the rest of the map. For scale. It's insane how massive this map is. Oh, and I forgot the dwarves are also here. By the White Tower. Okay, we got a mage the of winds fire. Hearken to me. We have the Sun Dragon in our midst, and then Dragon Princes, which are very strong cavalry units. Heat cannot so, stay, my what we'll do first, is we'll take out this starter army. Typically, whenever you start a, a campaign, you'll always have like one it army burns, to introduce like you to battle mechanic, and mechanics, and then a settlement nearby that you can quickly capture. So, we'll get those guys going. And then I want my Illyrian Reavers as well, so we'll start them on it too. In the meantime, Emmerich attack. So start our army. As we're both fairly low level. Uh, I edge them out slightly in close victory with low casualties, but I want to fight it because I want to use the dragon. And also show you, Kai, what the dragon is capable of. I'm pretty sure with this starter army, you give me the, the princes, Imric, and the dragon, I could probably wipe this whole army. They're that strong. Imric less so. Um, he's still a good, like, uh, legendary lord. It's just his stats aren't the best when you compare it to, like, like an uh, Archeon or uh, some of the higher level, like, dwarf lords can be pretty damn tough to beat. But, uh, you know, he can ride a dragon which is pretty sick. Also, the, the details they do... Like, I have my settings on, like, as low as they possibly can be, pretty much. Um, but the, the unit detail uh, is exceptionally great in this game, even on the low settings. Because, it you know, it shows, like, the cloth and even, like, 
little right here I'll just show you like see you can see it on this dragon like I mean it's like the wings are clipping through that's just because the settings are low but like like the individual scales and like horns and even on its eyes and teeth it's better on, the, on a still still character there's like each individual like armor piece and shield and then your legendary lord so we're here we must return order to the it's just awesome game and this is in a series of games Prince Imric my pleasure <laughs> Absolutely. A glorious challenge. Behold, as I march. A pace. Yep, they got artillery, so we gotta rush them. The dragon tamer. Oh, weakness to fire damage. Cool. Spellcaster. Probably should have waited until she was past the trees, but yep. Moving out. Dragon princes. Prince Imric, to battle. Luckily, these trees are blocking most of the fire from their artillery, which is their grudge throwers. The game takes the time to edit the details. Just so much passion. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what they do with this next DLC that's coming out soon. Dragon Princes! Prince Imric! Now we get to see what the dragon can do. As you say! Elves always have the best archers. Anador's chosen. That just did like 25%. Took out nine units too. Send in the cavalry to deal with their archers. Send in the dragon to deal with their Prince Imric. Pop the flame attacks. Now that she's clear, she can toss that spell out. Making my way. Just skirted right over him. Unfortunate. Archers are doing their job. Dragons eating them up. Yes. We advance. And then you mainly want to use cavalry. I haven't been good at this, but you mainly want to use cavalry for their charge bonus. That just disrupts the units and creates a little shock and awe. And then dragons can only do breath attacks while in the air. Dragon so we'll send these guys back in. Prince Imric. Make one proud. Because if we get this just right and in super slow motion... They put the lances down, and kaboom, boom, 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 and launch them. And then typically this will affect their leadership because now they are surrounded. Yeah, you can see damage sustained. This will show you what's affecting their leadership. Uh, under missile flanks exposed, losing, attacked in the rear. That's all thanks to those guys. Of all the factions, I think dwarves have the best leadership, meaning that uh, it takes a lot for them to flee or to give up on a battle. Like, they fight to the very end, especially, like, in late game, uh, when they have better experience and their lords are higher level. It takes a lot. What are you doing back here, lady? What the hell? 
Battle calls. I don't know what my battle mage did or wizard. She just ran back. <laughs> and see now they're starting to flee. Eventually, units start to flee to such an extent that you get what's called a mass route. Uh, other units see uh, see that you know their allies are retreating, and that affects their leadership. Yeah, it, it, there's so much deep lore in this game; it's insane. And typically, if you can afford it, you want like to send a unit of light cavalry or fast-moving units to ensure that these guys don't come back to the battle. As long as they're being chased by someone, it greatly increases the odds of them coming back to the or greatly reduces the odds of them coming back to the battle. The crown prince ascends. And now that the leader's fleeing, that'll affect leadership. And we should get a mass route here due to army losses as well, which obviously means it's like if you inflict enough losses on an army, they'll just all mass route. Oof, one mage. Send it in, lady. Shkaboom! And then this little skull in white with blood red flag means that that unit is broken. Uh, and they won't return regardless of what goes on. Like, they are fully out of the battle. But yeah, typically you uh, auto-resolve stuff to save time, but it's a ton of fun. It's a ton of fun just uh, playing this game. One moment, chat. And then this is just the post-battle screen where you can see losses, um, how many troops you have remaining. Here you can check to see how much damage a unit did, how many kills they got, and how much damage they dealt as gold value. Typically what that means is uh, this is a good way to check if a unit is worth keeping or not, or having or not. Um, so like, while this unit only got, 100, got 146 kills more than any other like unit, it only got 700, 788 gold value, uh, meaning it was like typically probably low tier units they took out, and didn't affect the sway of the battle too much. Um, meanwhile, uh, Imric only got 24 kills, but dealt a gold value damage of 933. So Imric highly valuable, obviously, only 24 kills, but those 24 kills had more impact than these uh, 146. But still, well, fairly well balanced all around. Um, and then typically, you can either execute the captives, which will give experience, uh, you can force labor, or uh, ransom. And these three buttons uh, will change or be added uh, depending on what faction you do. And then, of course, sometimes you'll get, like, legendary weapons or armors and whatnot from an opposing army when you beat them. You'll get experience for your whole army and Imric himself. And then treasure from, like, you'll earn a certain amount after winning. Um, so I'll ransom them. They are surely worth looking Um. Uh, just because it's early in the campaign... I want the one the influence and two the gold. I find glory wherever I fight. Sorry, one second. And then, uh, you'll ha your like l 
not lords, but uh, heroes, which are typically, like, not legendary lords where they're, like, in charge of a whole faction, but, like, sub, like, just a level below that. And uh, legendary lords, which is, like, your head haunt dragon guy, uh, earn levels, which make them, you know, just better um, in general. And you always start off with a few different um, options. I'm going to go with the Dragonhorn just because, uh, yeah, this offers like melee attack three, you know, armor piercing damage, charge bonus, and whatnot, but this is plus 24 melee attack and can cause fear, which is pretty big. Uh, typically, though, you want to get Route Marcher first uh, just so you can move around a bit quicker. And then we'll swap the to last her. Phoenix. We'll grab a fireball, level that up. And yeah, we can Glory take that awaits. No problem. We'll just it's a decisive victory. I typically just auto resolve no decisive victories. As it's really just too easy. And we wanna just occupy this. You have Occupy, Sack, Raise, and then, uh, what is it? O occupy, Loot, and Occupy, Sack, and Raise. Um, all that have different effects on the faction and your relationship with the faction that used to own it. And then we want to go with this one just to generate more income. Uh, buildings like that typically have, uh, you know, uh, income-based or research-based things that are attached to them. Okay, I'll just pull up the building browser. You have your army-based ones, which are typically, like, red. Um, uh, your artillery, chariots, cavalry, uh, monsters, and then, of course, with uh, Imric's faction, you get you can recruit dragons and dragon princes, which is a very strong form of cavalry. Um, walls. Duh, 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 duh. This is basically just the level of settlement you have. Uh, he's help with income. This is for military expansion. Meet in the middle. That's the gist of it, Kai. And this is your uh, technology tree, which varies from faction to faction, but basically it gives, like, you know, faction-wide or unit-based uh, boosts. Like, oh, now my recruitment cost is 4% less than it was. That's pretty nice. It's minimal, but it's nice. Master of Drake. And he levels up again because we took that settlement. We'll just give him Sword Player. Or actually, we'll give him Mount Marcher. And then we'll end our turn. And then the other 275 factions in the game take their turns. One second again. Strategy beyond compare. The greatest of the dragon princes.
my powers grow. Imre. Prince of Kalador. Behold my courage. Thank you, Infernal Knight. <laughs> I was just saying this is a good starter army um, after about four turns once I recruit everyone and how you have to manage money. But thank you for letting me know, Infernal. Welcome in, Mr. Gritty Kitty. Also, Canada when you click an army, you can see how much the upkeep is going to cost. You can see I have plus... I got about a, another 950 coming in. I am still would still be in the green, uh, but it's going to be close. We will then push to the Ashridge Mountains to take it from the dragon the shall wake. If no problems, happens to be the best. Who happens to be the best? I'm so sick right now. Please feel better, Mr. Gritty Kitty. And thank you for bringing your community here. Welcome in, Raiders. Anytime, man. I'll be right back. Take your time, brother. Take your time. <laughs> Yeah, we need about two more turns, and we should be good. Do you take Although you can see weather? here, looking up, they're mustering. They're gro they're currently recruiting, so we want to get there sooner rather than later. Imric. But we can afford two turns right now. It's an early game. again. We'll give my light cavalry a bit more armor. Alright. One more turn now and then we can start moving <laughs> towards the mountains. Uh, 
thank you again, Kitty, for the raid. I do appreciate it, buddy. We will not be live long, um, but I do appreciate the support. Mr. Gritty Kitty is an amazing human being. If there are... Here, I, never mind. I got it. I got it. Boom. Mr. Gritty Kitty. Please go show him some love. He's a wonderful human being. Crown Prince. There we go. We got an 18 out of 20 stack. Whole bunch of range. Uh, a decent amount of no mobility. Uh, yeah, we're ready. Let's, uh... Well, first, we'll, we'll push in Follow right the here. That should be just... Ah, oh, poop. It's just over 50%, it but burns, I can still... Like anvil. Oh, I forgot. High Elves can't raid. You're going to for all spellcasters. Calidor's magic. Yeah, I'll take that. It's like channeling. This just gives me better uh, spellcasting <laughs> chances. I want to just use that for my mage. Um, I will not we'll get this settlement to tier 2. That'll take a little while. And then we'll bring down Gilbert Helhein in the Ashridge Mountains. Uh, but we're looking pretty good. We are we are chilling. We'll head to the diplomacy screen, see if there's anyone we can really reach out to. And there is not, because uh, we haven't made contact with our high elf brethren, which are all located in this, this central circle. Uh, there's like, I think, three or four high elf factions. There's also some dark elf factions in the northern part here. Um, but uh, a, prim a pri primary amount of the high elves of this world uh, operate in right here. Right here. And I believe Anith Anar is over here somewhere. And then you have wood elves. Wood elves, the sisters are over here. And then I know there's a bunch of wood elves in this area. The forest of Calones. Yeah, and Averland. That's near the Empire. Are you excited for Chaos Dwarves? Remo, I am so stoked. I know a lot of, like, Warhammer fans have been waiting eons for Chaos Dwarves to make their debut, and I'm just so excited for the the units that have been shown, the Julie, battles the that I'm going to have with them, and just how damn broken they're going to be, I think they're going to be, uh, from what I've seen. Um, because I think that's one of the few things the dwarves, the, the, you know, good aligned dwarves are missing is just like beasts and, um, beasts and like mobility. And that's really what I think, uh, you get, you get access to with the chaos dwarves. And I'm curious is if you're going to get access to other chaos to monsters and like a tie-in with uh with uh like the lords and demons of chaos if they're gonna there's probably gonna be some good trading and allies you can get some outposts too oh it's gonna be huge do i accept no Causes dragons fire. Because they know I'm a, I'm a coming. You see, this would be a pirate victory if we attack now. But very rarely would I want to go into a, a dwarven settlement on the attack. So I will just encircle them. Wake the dragons. Time um, I'll make them come out to attack me. I'll win. I always do. I don't want to talk about the way that it was. Plus, their model design just looks pretty fucking cool. Remo, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. <sighs> Excuse me. These fools have no chance. Yeah, I see they're waiting to attack, what but um, if you encircle a settlement long enough, you basically Be start gone. to cause them to starve. 
uh, and force attrition, which will make them lose units. The dragons. So, like, I could attack it now, and see, even after just the the, the minimal amount of units, it's this has been upgraded to a close victory with low casualties instead of medium. So I'll just auto resolve it. They will know Kalador's name. It's still a decent chunk of losses on some of my units, but worth, definitely worth it. It's a war of attrition. Promise and stability, get 1100. Now we'll just Join occupy the kingdom of We destroyed that clan. We have a few rights that are available now. Um, we also get access to commandments, which basically boosts uh, a pro it's a, a buff for the province. So I could go anti-corruption, which is for good against like chaos sca or skaven corruption and vampiric corruption. Um, uh, the citizen militia re recruiting is uh, your recruits are a bit higher level, and your capacity increases. Um, rebuilding Lost Splendor, uh, more people essentially come to this area, uh, buildings cheaper, and, uh, you have access, your, your, your faction will essentially grow quicker, you get access to more buildings faster. Um, income to the Phoenix King, just basically in increased income, and then, uh, patrols, which is just helps against invasion, but I'm just gonna get my economy up, so we'll boost that. Um... We will demolish this one since it's a duplicate of this building and it's pointless to have two buildings in the same uh, province. So we'll demolish that bad boy and rebuild something there in its place. Dragon Rider, greatest of the dragon princes. And we got two levels out of that one, so we'll finish out his base one uh, and then just. We'll get this one just because it gives us speed as well as melee defense. And she gets two levels as well, so we'll give her Kindle Flame and Flaming Sword of Rune. She can also get a dragon, which is pretty sick. And this is where you can, you know, give them different uh, boosts, buffs, armor, talismans, magic. All sorts of cool stuff. So we will wait for our army to recuperate. I think then maybe we push south and clear out any Skaven or vampires that may be here. Yeah, we could probably take this whole uh, second province down here. So we'll move him back to the fortress of Vorag. We'll get the stability back up and then we'll take these guys. Barring any setbacks. Woo. That's dope. The moon howlers have been destroyed. Oh yeah, there's some Skaven operating in there. You can tell right here there's some Skaven corruption. Upgrade our archers. Rights are basically faction-wide buffs you can get. Um, and it varies between whatever. Typically, I don't use them too often. Um, but uh, in emergencies, I might. This one's pretty big, too. Like immune to attrition, especially if I go to the Chaos Waste or come across Skaven territory or especially vampiric shit. Um, that could be huge. Strategy. But that's down the compare. line. Strategy beyond compare. Lose that bad boy. Calador's champion. 
push him to Vorag. As the you can see, we're still weak. losing stuff, but um, that's just because we occupied here. It would have been worse had we sacked it. It would fuck with the whole region. Good night, Rich. I'm struggling right now. Happy streaming. Get some rest, bud. Feel better. I love you, buddy. We'll we'll take Bitter Bay and we'll go from there. Alright, dude, he just doesn't like us. Oh mine. Although you can also see a balance of power between us, and I'm stronger than most of the factions around here, at least the ogres. Uh the Skaven slightly out outbalance me, but I think that's just because they have more units. Uh, but I'm I'm not particularly scared of Skaven just yet. Late game Skaven can be fucking deadly because of their weapons teams, which is especially Warrior deadly Supreme. against a giant target like a dragon. So, it's just... With those, it's just about a matter of having enough cavalry or fast units to disrupt their weapons teams so they can't fire in any sort of quick fashion. I will see you burn for your transgressions Speaking against Kalador. Speaking of Skaven, we just got declared war on by Tretch Craventail of Clan Rictus. So that should be interesting. We'll see how that goes. Typically, Skaven like to to just burrow underneath cities and use a thing called the Underway or their Under Empire they use the Underway to travel it's deeply frustrating sometimes and we have a dragon sighting near Bitter Bay boundless courage son of the phoenix Under cities, yes, yes. The best rat is Mimi. <laughs> love those oversized rats. Oh, same. I love playing. I have uh, an Ick Claw uh, campaign going right now, Remo, that I am excited about. I used a Doom rocket for the first time and was the oath thoroughly keep. impressed. Although I gotta stay here for a little bit so my faction doesn't. My armies and whatnot don't turn against me. Gordinar, champion of the flame. I got 20 turns to get to him, so I'm not too concerned. Plus, I, I want to get this army leveled up a bit before I take on a full dragon and his army. Give myself a few more turns before I end stream, but then I gotta call it because I got work tomorrow. Sadly, I'm not a full-time streamer yet, chat, but maybe one day. Maybe one day. Now we finally broken even. Once we get this, we'll start gaining some control, which will be good. Get that up. Loyalty is all. I know you're waiting. Just give me a more turn. Clan Rictus might pop up out of nowhere. Got to deal with Trench. Tretch Craven Tail. I can't think of his name right now. This guy with the red helmet, with the red armor. He's he's probably my favorite uh, Skaven warlord. Ooh, and plus four. Pride of Ulsline. Minus five military presence is the main reason for that, so we don't want to lose that, but. Me. Nope, I just, just leave it 
be. No, yeah. oh, damn it. I don't even have enough money to colonize it. I thought there'd be Skaven here. This will be masterful. Oh no, I didn't. <sighs> poop, 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 poop. I just, I just scuffed that. This only whole, the asshole whole thing. may enter. Aragorn's Lord of the Rings. Aragorn is the dragon rider. The Rima with the follow. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the stream, my guy. Officially. I know you've, you've been chatting, but welcome. Y you know what I'm trying to say. Um, Do I want to check in on any of my other campaigns at the moment? D -d -d Clan Mulder. Oh, these are all on old saves, goddammit. This is my longest campaign so far. Oh wait, no, this one is. I'm best rat, man, Mimi. You know, let's check in with my boys. Let's check in with my boys. This is my long, like, I have more, I feel like I have more time invested in this one than the Clan Moors campaign. Even though it has more turns, I, f I definitely feel like I have more time with the Dawe. I'm just gonna check in. Just a quick check in. I'm not addicted to this. I'm addicted to this game. I'm fully addicted to this game, Remo. I don't play it as often as I'd like to, but. It, it is a ton of ton of fun. Well, that's definitely gonna get a sequel. It's probably one of my favorite games at the moment. That's fair. I'm currently dealing with a huge chaos invasion, um, and Norska. Like I got, let's see, one, two three, four, five armies just in this vicinity. Then down here, I got the Skaven. Throt the Unclean coming. Let us begin. I'm building up a huge-ass army over here to hopefully take back Nostrak's lair and then axe deal with Throt. Doom, doom, doom. My axe thirsts for war. I still need a few more turns to get to full 20 stack. Uh, I've come down here. Just took Myrmidons, which is a huge settlement. Um, where am I sending this guy? Summon me if you dare. Oh yeah, I'm t trying to deal with uh, fucking Scarbrand, wherever his ass is. What tribute do you offer the great king of me? All right, you just relax, dude. I will wipe you out and use your bones as two things. The axe thirsts for war. Got them. So I'm gonna move him to Galvarez. Do I have anything down here? I thought I did. Maybe that's a different campaign. Oh no, that's my that's my clan Moore's campaign. My biggest thorn in my side is to the north though. We're making 3k a turn. We have Empire Knights. Just Knights, any mobility in a, a Dwarvish army is terrifying. For the reckoning. For the wisdom of Valaya. Summon me if you dare. 
Oh, I dare, brother. I dare. The problem with having this many settlements is there's so much to build. Rangers, Rangers, Great Reppings, Bugman Rangers. Sick. Okay, and no more building. We have 23 gold left. This is gonna be a bitch of a battle. Archeon at level 44 is damn near impossible to, to kill. He, he, he took out almost uh, every, it took everything in, in Ungrim Iron Fist arsenal to take him out. He is a bitch and a half to fight. My axe thirsts for war. So, we'll see if he attacks Volksgrad or not. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. There's only 73 factions left. <sighs> the Empire and the Golden Order are my two biggest allies that are my threat that are still a very high threat level. I got this grog motherfucker trying to cause some chaos in my territory. Which I don't appreciate. And then this bitch ass on, uh, And I lost my outpost because they fucking confederated. Are you shitting me? Bok Bok the Lethal. Your defiance is noted. Onward. I grow restless. What? I only got one cannon in this. Absolutely not. Doesn't have any... He's got a lot of large units, like a lot of single units. But not any, like, terrifying uh, infantry units, which is surprising, honestly. And he doesn't, he doesn't have the, the corn, uh, the, the blood, blood letter, blood thirster. So that makes me happy. I must fulfill my slayer oath. I have more range than I'd like. I don't have nearly enough infantry. Yes. This guy's got some. You're a pretender. Yep, I sure war. am. Oh, and then he's got Fregnus and Pock Pock. Are they allies? Oh, motherfucker, they're allies. You've got to be shitting me right now. Of course, they're fucking allies. Let us begin. Bolt throwers. Sick. I want one. Let us begin. Get out of there. Okay, okay, okay. This 
can me for four. Can't get there. Beyond your comfort either, but this is not for the ever chosen. He tells me he's gonna want to get there Aye. soon. Excuse me. Bye. Oh, I forgot about the Blessed Dread. They're technically my biggest threat. Just in terms of military power. Or the balance of power. Reichland second, especially since they took Hawkland. Ah, uh, but they're my allies, so I shouldn't have to worry about them. Bring it on. Oh, you coward. He's gonna force me to fight him. I'm not. No! The slayer in me seeks death. My command is attack. I'm gonna auto resolve this just so I lose this one unit and get it over with. Get fucked. Huge damage. Two kills, 1100 gold value. Two kills, 1800 gold value. 32. Who had the most gold? 2700, 2500. Huge job, boys. Well done. Get fucked. Yes. I the am the Slayer though, King. Definitely worth it. I grow restless. Cut the Slayer King two fucking levels after all. Ah, to die in battle. What? A step too far. No. Oh, I can take that army, no problem. For the wisdom of Valaya. I'll drain the pus. That's a shit army. The clan demands war. Take him out. There's all that shiz. Ah, <laughs> grudges will be settled. You will be Oh, he's in striking distance. To Get out of there, brother. Move forwards. Yeah, get fucked. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna save there before I get too addicted to this. I'm just happy I dealt with Archaeon. Or Archeon, however you prefer it pronounced. Um, I think we're gonna call it. We are gonna call it, chat. Thank you again for such an incredible stream. Uh, huge shout out to Kai, Dante, and Mr. Gritty Kitty. You are all wonderful, wonderful people. Uh, Remo, thank you again for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, Nick, thank you for the gifted subs as well. But just an incredible stream, to say the least. Just absolutely incredible thank you thank you thank you everyone <laughs> um i'm hopping off for the night 
Uh, but I'm going to keep the raid hype going. See if there's anybody I'm following still going. Um, no, everyone seems to be a sweep. So I think I might just call it there. Yep, I'm uh, I'm gonna just call it there, y'all. So thank you everyone for such an incredible, incredible stream. Hope to see you around, Remo. Thank you again for following. Good night, everybody.